Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather. Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer, a winter weather advisory in effect for all of western Wisconsin for Tuesday afternoon and evening as snow is going to be moving in. So it's time to refresh ourselves on good winter driving habits. I have three S's for you when we have snow covered roads because that's what we're going to be expecting tomorrow. Slippery roads with heavy snow at times in the evening. So the three S's. One is C. Use your lights, that's so you can see and more importantly be seen. The second one, slow down. And the third is leave space. Remember those three things? That's an easy way to remember. Uh, just get yourself back into that habit of driving in the winter. With the space element, you should leave enough space between you and the car in front of you so you can completely stop if something were to happen. Or in the case of nobody's in front of you, you should be able to see as far as it's going to take you to stop at the speed that you're driving, given the lower visibility, you should slow down so that your stopping distance is equal to your visibility. So if suddenly you come across a pile up, you'll be able to stop in time. That's the, how you can remain safe with these types of systems. So let's go on to Futurecast and track its arrival. We have clouds increasing into the night and tomorrow morning. The system arrives from the west. Mid-morning around the border, around the Highway 53 corridor, arriving from west to east around noon, and then picking up intensity pretty quickly through the afternoon. Notice the heaviest snow rates uh, between 2 and 7 o'clock, right in the middle of the commute. Then by 8 or 9, the rain line starts to move off to the north so snow will end earlier to the south and stay all snow longer off to the north before it completely fizzles out after midnight. By Wednesday morning we might see a break with some sunshine though more clouds are arriving with some chances for precipitation returning. Thursday and into Thursday night that round looks like mainly rain at this point but for this first round this Tuesday Eau Claire, one to four inches are possible to the south and east where it changes over a little bit sooner. A little slushier trace to two inches, uh, but generally speaking, one to four, even two to four as you're getting closer to Owen, Medford, Eau Claire. Uh, it's all going to depend on the road, too. Uh, these accumulations are likely on the grass, probably an inch or two lower on the roads, but still on the roads. Northwest, three to six inches. That's why there's a winter weather advisory for all of us. It means that there will be an impact to travel. That's what the winter weather advisory means that hazardous travel conditions are expected from these winter systems. 23 for the low temperature overnight, partly cloudy. The winds are going to be light. It's going to cool down and then only warm up to the 37 degree mark, which is early in the day. Once the snow moves in, those temps fall back towards freezing and that's where you can really see some issues. Low visibility, slippery roads as the snow becomes likely heavy at times into the afternoon. So make sure you're uh, practicing good driving techniques on that evening commute or perhaps even uh, giving yourself more time and leaving earlier. Another low pressure system Wednesday night into Thursday. This is rain and thunderstorms as temperatures warm up to the 50s. So if you don't want to shovel all the snow or snow blow, uh, you could probably wait a day or two, even though the lows are pretty cold. The high Wednesday and especially Thursday with the rain should melt it pretty quickly. Once that system moves through Thursday, though, we're going to cool back down only upper 30s for highs through the weekend, uh, 20s and 30s for lows. There is a chance for snow again on Sunday.